In this video, I will show you how you can create a simple 3D part in AutoCAD. Here you can see the drawing for this part. Now I already have created 2D drawing with dimensions. We are going to create this one again. You should be in the 3D modeling workspace. You can select from here click on the gear and select 3d modeling workspace okay let's start with the with this shape we have to draw this in 2d then we will convert this one into 3d so you can see the dimensions the overall length for this one is 100 here and uh, thickness for the base plate is 10 and uh, the height from this line to the center is 25 and uh, overall height for the part is 50 plus 10 it is total 60 in height like this okay we will start by drawing rectangle here select line okay we are going to turn on the ortho mode by pressing f8 now hold your cursor in this direction and type 100 enter move your cursor upside type 10 enter again to this side 100 enter and click on the end point okay now this circle is at the center so we are going to draw a line from the midpoint move upside and type 25 enter you can see uh, the center of the circle is at the 25 height from this line so and this line is just for reference now we will create a circle here at this end point the radius for the circle is 12.5 12.5 enter again we will draw another circle at the same center and you can see the radius for the outer circle is 25 okay now create line from this quadrant to the perpendicular this line again this side from this quadrant to uh, this line now you can delete this line and uh, trim tr double intern we have a basic shape for the part now uh, we have to select an other view to see it the part in 3d for that uh, go to your view cube here and click on this corner to see or uh, to go an isometric view like this okay now from modeling tool panel here we have the command press pull click on this one and come inside the shape click now you can see we are extruding our part and the height for this one is 50 five zero fifty you can see the height here okay now we can change the visual style to see what we have created uh, you can go on the view panel and this is uh, 2d wireframe we are going to select conceptual or realistic let's say conceptual for now okay now you can use orbit command here okay
Now we have to draw circles here for the holes. This may be a little bit difficult for you. Let's check the drawing again. The circle from this line is the center of the circle from this line is at 12.5 and from this line it is at 10. Okay. Now uh, you can you can select a line select line now move your cursor to this surface flat area this will be highlighted it means we are now drawing on this surface now move move your cursor to the midpoint this is the midpoint click and hold your pointer this side like in this direction at this time ortho mode should be on okay so we can create a straight line there now just uh, do nothing just hold in this direction your cursor in, in this direction and type 10 enter we have a line here we should to change the visual style let's select the realistic okay now again line the same procedure now from this side midpoint hold your uh, cursor this side and type 10 again enter this here now we have to need points for the circle now select circle command okay go to end point of this line the radius for this one is five again another circle radius for this one is five also okay now from view panel select top view again sorry not the top view but the back side view like this okay uh, now we can select uh, 2d wireframe again you need these lines now we are going to use mirror command m i enter select two circles enter now this is asking for the mirror line so click on this midpoint to this midpoint or just like this click anywhere so just to give it a line reference line you can see we have the same circles on the other side when you define the line it will ask you to erase source objects no just enter okay. now we have four circles uh, now we will cut these holes cut these holes for that again you go to isometric view like this now again we will use the pressful command When you come inside a circle, it will be highlighted. And when you go down, it means we are pressing it. When we press into any other object, it will create a hole. It will cut the object. But if we go upside, the other side, it will create another part. Uh, let me change the visual style. select realistic okay select press pull command again come inside the circle click here go down no problem any height again this circle now so this circle 
now we will use orbit command escape okay now we have to create fillets on these four corners here the radius for the fillets is uh, sorry I have not mentioned here but it is 5 okay fillet enter click on the edge now as you click on any edge it will ask for the radius so type 5 enter now select other corners also this one use orbit command to go other side escape click this one we have defined four corners just hit enter you can see our part is ready you can change its color to any color you want by going to properties Okay. 